Hello guys, welcome back to Code with Lukman after a long time. Today we will learn how we can easily install and configure Vue.js and uh, Bootstrap 5 in Laravel 10. Okay, let's create a new Laravel application. There are many ways to install Vue.js and Bootstrap in Laravel 10, but uh, I will teach you the easiest way to install and configure uh, Vue.js and Bootstrap in Laravel 10. Let's wait for the completion of the project. As you know, the Laravel command is creating a new application for us. Okay guys, as you can see that a new Laravel application has been created successfully. Let's check the current version of Laravel. Oh, sorry, we need to go to the root directory of the project, VUE Laravel 10. And then we need to rerun. So currently it's 10.11 Laravel framework. Okay, so the next step is to install the Laravel UI package so that later we can install Vue.js and uh, Bootstrap. So type composer require Laravel forward slash UI, right? This package it makes it very easy to install and configure Vue.js and uh, Bootstrap in Laravel 10. Although there are alternative ways. Okay. This composer package has been installed. Now we need to run PHP artisan uh, UI VUE. Okay. This command will install the VU in our application. Yeah. And once we run this command, okay, uh, okay, uh, so once you install the view uh, JS, you will see this command will create new folder, okay, in the JS directory, it has created a new directory components. Similarly, it also has created a new directory uh, SWS source, okay. So here the SAS contains actually the uh, bootstrap CSS, okay? It is loading the bootstrap CSS and variables, right? And uh, in the components directory, they have provided us a, an example component. So basically the package provides us a basic platform to start the application, okay? Or uh, let's okay now so let's have a look at app.js okay you can also see it uh, so first of all uh, the app.js is modified by this package and they are in the first line they are importing the bootstrap in the second line um, they are importing the create app function from vue uh, you know we need a create app function to create any uh, new instance in VUE, okay, and then they are importing uh, the example component, okay, and then they are registering the example component tag, okay. So uh, the next step is let's run npm install, okay, and uh, let's go to the welcome.blade.php. Remove the body tag. And remove all these styles. Okay. And here we are just verifying that overview has been installed successfully. Okay. And then
let me zoom out so you can see clearly okay let me tell you i have ga gave this container the id of app because that dot js which is created by the composer require laravel forward slash ui package they are mentioned there here okay so app dot mount hash app okay they are binding the view app uh, with this dom object okay so i kept it uh, id app as they have already mounted it and uh, let's also create a bootstrap alert div so we can also verify that bootstrap has also been installed okay and here we will import the example component okay now we don't need this so this is welcome dot dot blade dot php and then uh, we will also need the white to compile over css and js uh, so let's type it white uh, maybe we can just copy it So white, you know, already uh, white is installed in a Laravel application. You just need to run npm install. So white is used to bundle over CSS and JS. And uh, now we just need to run npm run dev. And then we can verify if our application is running VUE or not. So we have ran the npm run dev and let's visit our application localhost and uh, oh, sorry nah. VUE Laravel So guys, you can see that our example component is appearing. Okay. Uh, okay. So our uh, example component is loading correctly. You can see that it's, uh, let's make a small change here. And this change will automatically appear here. Okay. We don't need to refresh the page. Okay. This is because in the white.config.js we have, uh, refresh true okay so it automatically uh, refreshes the page and uh, but you uh, you noted that bootstrap is not working to work the bootstrap work okay we do uh, you can see that we need to load this okay this file is loading the bootstrap css importing you can see that so we need to in, in, include okay this in our so in the app.js uh, we need only one thing to include so that our bootstraps also starts working okay so this is the path you can see this is the sas folder and we are referring importing this file okay so that uh, it can load the bootstrap css okay now if we refresh bootstrap must work now we have used the uh, div alert bootstrap div alert class yeah you can see now our bootstrap is working uh, last but not least i am using vamp but i also use that um, docker container okay uh, so if you are using docker container uh, most probably your 
uh, while it will not work to load CSS and JSS. For that, you will need to include this, okay? Here, uh, you will need to go to your welcome.blade.php. Oh, sorry, uh, in the white.config.js and uh, here, uh, sorry, and this is another project. white.config yeah and here you will need to add this if you are this is required only if you are using docker container because without this uh, your uh, white will be unable to load your css and js that's it for today in the next video we will start working on the crud application have a nice day